So guys, welcome to my channel. Today, at customer's request, a uh, heat doesn't work on your vehicle. It only works, on, especially in the Toyotas. If you have a Highlander, Sienna, six cylinder, you're looking at this, even Lexus's uh, six cylinder engine, uh, they did the coolant flush, chain the water pump, whatever the scenario was. But now the heat only works when the RPM is high by pressing the gas pedal. So you're on the highway, heat works beautiful. You come to local to stop, the heat stopped working. I want to show you what was done wrong. One thing that your mechanic or you or whoever worked on the car didn't do, okay? So you could drain the antifreeze, put another antifreeze in, and that's not going to run your heat properly. But there's a wall here, bleed wall over here. So I'm gonna show you a small little process, what you can do, all right? So simply, you're gonna lift this cover up here, engine cover here, this has grommets, and there's four of them. So this is what you're pulling off, one, two, well, there's three, most of them car was four, <laughs> I was wrong. But anyways, right in here, you have a bleeder wall, as you can see right there. That's your bleeder wall right there for Toyota Sienna, Toyota Camry 6 cylinder, Lexus ES 350, 250, whatever you have. That's the bleeder wall right there. So all you need to do is uh, you need to uh, just loosen that up and you should be able to bleed some of the antifreeze right from there. So here's a 10 millimeter socket, 3 8 to dry with the ratchet and we're gonna put this to counterclockwise all right so you take this and if you can use extension why well, am i gonna have to get an extension small letter extension okay rb has come back with extension so you take this put it on that wall right there and you turn it counterclockwise once it loosens up you could take off your socket here Ah, come on and loosen that up do not drop that valve you see if I squeeze this I got air coming out of that I squeezed it so even me I have air in that little guy all right so I'm gonna show you one more small step so what you would do is you loosen that up that's when you're gonna top off your antifreeze and then you can rev the engine, open that valve, let it bleed out a little bit, okay? But I'm gonna show you a small little process that you can do. All right, so get a small little pipe. It doesn't have to be a clear pipe, but I would recommend you get a clear one. And you're gonna push this onto the valve itself right there. This valve is just like a crazy size, but this should fit on the valve. And the other side, you push it into the bottle and so you don't make a mess. And as you can see, antifreeze start to flow. All right, so there you go. Small little method I showed you guys. That's the bleed valve on these Toyota Siennas. And a small little guy right there. That's all you're gonna do. Put a small pipe and bleed it. Rev the engine, air should come out and then you lock up the valve it's very simple you can even turn it to lock up the valve you could just turn this guy just like that and uh, that should stop the antifreeze from going back and pull off the pipe and you're all done thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe share and like we'll see you on the next one all right let me just show you a little bit more don't forget to lock up this valve because if you forget you're gonna have a big mess of antifreeze so what's gonna happen here is this is gonna bleed out your antifreeze and there's gonna be no air in the system. And that's gonna give you a better heating. Your engine's gonna stay nice and cool, perfectly like it's supposed to. And uh, what's happening here is you're not getting antifreeze into the system, you have air in the system. So it can give you a good heat, then it can't, won't give you, it could be, a lot of things are possible with the, with the air in the system. All right, that's just, you're just burping and that's all you're doing anyways. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like, double check your valve here, make sure it's nice and closed, don't crack it either, don't go crazy. And then you just put your cover back on and you push down on the grommets, take out your little bottle, you're all done. Bye bye.